During a recent project here on the bench, I accidentally blew the fuse in the milliamp scale of my trusty Fluke 87 multimeter. So I thought I'd do a short video to show you how to replace the fuses, or at least the one fuse that I blew. So on the Fluke 87, uh, the actual fuse that's used in that location will vary by model and even in some case by serial number. So you really need to kind of look at the manual or even the Fluke website to determine which fuses uh, you want to use. And uh, these are the replacements for my meter. In fact, if we look down here at the back, you can kind of see which models this fuse is for. And it's for Fluke 87s with uh, serial numbers below 656-5001. And uh, that applies to my meter. This is a pretty early uh, Fluke 87. So here's how you replace them. You basically take the rubber holster off and uh, in this case there are three screws in the back to take out and uh, of course we'll do this on camera and it never goes as fast on camera as you're doing it without the camera so I'll just uh, try and do this quickly here always fun to uh, watch somebody do some manual labor on a video so that's one, two, and three Okay. So with that, the case, the case sections are kind of joined together with this little rubber gasket and so usually getting a fingernail in there is enough to kind of start to peel them apart. And uh, the case will come apart here, the gasket will usually stay up on one side and uh, just kind of peel them apart, okay? And uh, so there's the one case half, we'll put that over here. Uh, the fuses are on the other side, so we'll just tip this over and uh, lift the case off. And uh, the fuse that we need to replace is this guy right here. So I uh, will just pop this out right here. I've previously tested this as bad, so I'll, I'll know that one is bad. Let's uh, grab one of the new ones here out of the package. And uh, we'll put that in its place. And uh, just slip that uh, right into its spot right here. Okay. And... Uh, there's a little plastic tab that kind of aligns it and gets it in the right spot, keeps it away from other components. So uh, we've got that fuse now in place. So now we can put the meter back together. We'll lay the uh, front face of the meter back in place here. Kind of be careful of which way the battery is kind of facing here. The wires don't get pinched and that the, the meter sits down flat and flush in there again. And they'll take the rear case half and put that back in place. It kind of snaps a little bit into place. Put the three screws back in here. Okay, oops. Again, trying to do this on camera and do it quickly. So there's one and second and third screws here. Put them in. That's number two. And number three. Okay, so now with that fuse back in place, we should be able to measure something on the uh, the milliamp scale here. So let's turn that uh, the meter to that scale. I've already got the uh, current limited power supply set up here, so we'll just connect up uh, the common and the other probe to the milliamp scale. Turn on my power supply and. Uh, here we go, we're measuring a reading of 27.25 milliamps. So uh, that wasn't working before, so now we know that that's all working. And just to kind of verify that, I'm going to move this over to the amps input. Okay, a different scale, it's measuring the same 27 milliamps. So, uh, so we know that uh, the fuse is now replaced and everything is working fine. So uh, anyway, it's a good idea to have some of those on hand. Um, they are certainly there for a reason to protect the meter. And it's good to have them on hand when you do something like I did and blow the fuse. Anyway, thanks for watching.